Will Smith is the name everyone is talking about following last weekend's Oscars. And we know they are not talking about his win for King Richard, rather his smack of Chris Rock that was heard around the world. Let's get into the celebrities who tried to warn us about Will Smith. So first up we got Chris Rock. Unless you are living under a rock, you know that Will Smith showed a completely different side of himself to the world at last night's Oscars. While comedian Chris Rock was speaking to the crowd and taking some digs at all the celebrities in the audience, Rock decided to take a jab at Jada Pinkett Smith and I'm very sure he regrets it right now. Chris said quote, Jada, love you, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, referencing her almost bald head. Because in the movie G.I. Jane, the lead actress Demi Moore has shaved her head. Jada has been open about her struggle with alopecia and she was likely forced to wear her hair this way because she's not able to grow hair completely. Immediately after this joke, Will Smith decided to get up, interrupt the live broadcast and slap Chris Rock right in the face for millions to see. Chris looked stunned and was not sure exactly how to respond. Will walked back to his seat, then yelled quote, shut your mouth, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth twice. After this slap, Chris Rock looked completely stunned, having no idea what to do or say. It looked like he was about to clap back and say another harsh joke about Will or his family, but Rock took the high road and decided to stay calm. The internet was set ablaze by this slap, with many not even sure if it was real or just staged for publicity. But considering what we've seen in the aftermath, it was 100% real. Although many pointed out that Will actually laughed at the joke moments before deciding to get up and slap Chris Rock. Many fans of Smith have tried to defend his actions, but the overall consensus is that it's never okay to put hands on someone or work out issues with violence, which I completely agree with. Also, we have no idea if Chris Rock even knew that uh, Jada Pinkett Smith had alopecia. It could have just been a big misunderstanding. Next up, William Hendricks. After Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage, another one of his attacks was resurfaced because this was not the first time that Will lost his temper and his nice guy persona was called into question. In 1989, Smith spent a night in jail after he hurt a man named William Hendricks so badly that Hendricks almost lost lost his sight. Smith even spent a night in jail because of this incident and has a mugshot because of it. I'm not sure exactly why it happened, but Hendrix was a producer who we can assume worked with Smith. Even more coincidental, this incident happened days after Will won his first Grammy. I guess he likes to get into altercations around award season. The charges were later dropped against Will. Will Smith was 20 years old at the time, and after getting in a verbal argument with his producer, he decided to make things physical. As per the police report, Smith asked his bodyguard, Charles Alston, to quote, attack William Hendrix. Hendrix, who needed six stitches after he fractured his left eye orbit during the altercation. Next up, August Alsina. After the smack heard around the world, old reports that Jada had cheated on Will in the past resurfaced. The pair have spoken about how they are in an open marriage, so we're not sure if it was really cheating or not, but Jada admitted she was in an entanglement with rapper August Alsina during a break with her husband. When Will and Jada talked about it on Red Table Talk, Will looked visibly distressed, and the general consensus is that Will wants a monogamous relationship, but Jada wants to be open and see other people. In 2020, August exposed the secret that he'd had a long time affair with Jada while she was married to Smith. Initially, the Smiths denied this, but later admitted that it started when the pair split up briefly. Alcina had been introduced to Jada by her son, Jaden, at a London music festival in 2015. Insider stated that August became like a member of their family, even going on vacations with them and staying in their mansion. August is 21 years younger than Jada, and he claimed that Smith actually gave his blessing to have an affair with his wife, an allegation that Jada then denied. Will also reported that he had affairs with other women during this time. At one point, he was rumored to have slept with co-star Margot Robbie. And he believed Will's insane reaction to the joke is proof that he is in a toxic relationship with his wife because he completely embarrassed himself on most likely the biggest night of his life, all because of a bad joke. And he also claimed that Will would have rather smacked August, but instead Chris Rock got the brunt of his anger. Vitaly Sedek. Little known fact is that this is not the first time that Will Smith has smacked a man in public at an award show event. Vitaly Sedek interviewed Will on a red carpet almost a decade ago, and after they had a negative interaction, Will smacked him in the face as well. While being interviewed, the pair hugged when Sadek went to kiss Will on the cheek. Will Smith freaked out, then backhanded him on the face. Although many felt this move was justified at the time, it shows that Smith's first reaction in a negative situation is violence. The incident took place at the Moscow opening of Men in Black 3 in May of 2012, while Sadek was working for a Ukrainian television station. After the incident with Chris Rock, Sadek stated, quote, I just immediately recollected the slapping incident in Moscow. I think the joke was inappropriate when it comes to someone's health, but Will's reaction is unnecessary and sends the wrong message to comedians, being hit for a joke. Adding quote, I don't want to call Will Smith uncontrollable, he has a violent temper, yes, but I'm sure he realizes what he's doing. The reporter acknowledged that it was a bad joke, and he understands that Will was protecting his family, however it shows that violence is always Will's first instinct. Scientology After the Chris Rock incident, some started connecting the dots between the bizarre slap and Scientology. This is because the Smiths have been tied to Scientology in the past, and physical punishment 
punishment is a popular teaching in the church. Apparently, it's a common teaching in Scientology to use slaps and other forms of physical force to show other Scientologists that they've done something wrong. After the slap, one user tweeted, quote, There's a Scientology course, I guess you'd call it, that involves slapping slash physically humiliating fellow Scientologists in a group setting as a means of exerting superiority. It's remarkably common within the cult. The user even shared that Tom Cruise is known to use similar styles of punishment, but instead of hitting, he uses shouting to intimidate movie crews. This makes a ton of sense after what we saw happen on the set of one of Cruise's movies when he felt the COVID protocols were not taken seriously by his staff. The audio heard him screaming at the top of his lungs at his staff, clearly sending a strong message. The Smiths have spent many years battling off accusations that they are involved in Scientology. The couple was apparently introduced to the church in 2004 by Tom Cruise, and they got so involved that the Smith family spent almost $1 million in 2008 to set up a school for the church. The Smiths said they designed the curriculum for the school, but insiders claimed it was based on Scientology. Both Jaden and Willow attended, but the school closed six years later when most of the parents removed their children. Tony Ortega, an expert on Scientology, said that the Smiths left Scientology in 2015 and that Will at least only ever dabbled in it. And finally, Will Smith himself. Will exposed himself in his 2021 memoir where he revealed his struggles with anger in the past and how he had thought about taking someone's life in the past. In this memoir, he revealed dark secrets from his past, like that his father used to hit his mother and when he was younger, he was ashamed that he never stepped in to stop him. Apparently, many years later, his father had cancer and was declining rapidly. He was in a wheelchair at the time and was not able to care for himself. So Will thought about taking his father's life to avenge all the horrible things that he did to his mother. Thankfully, Will did not go through with it and took the high road with his father. Will seemed to reference this in his Oscar speech where he said that a higher power called on him, quote, to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people. First up on the list is The View co-host. Sonny Hostin and Whoopi Goldberg discussed the now infamous slap situation while on their talk show the next morning. They were particularly weighing in on the idea of taking away Will Smith's Oscar. Quote, I think Will was immature. I think he was childish and he was violent. There will be consequences, I'm sure, but I don't think that that's what they're going to do. Particularly because Chris said, listen, I'm not going to press any charges. Anna Navarro also stated, quote, hitting somebody is a crime. While she called Chris Rock's joke a, quote, lame joke, a joke made in poor taste, she believes that the slap is not equivalent. Joy Bayer discussed the impact on comedians. Quote, they want us to be edgy, to go out there and say what everyone's thinking, and then they get mad. I don't think anyone has thought about G.I. Jane in like a decade, but I mean, whatever. Okay, next up is Cher, and hear me out on this one. It's kind of not really about Chris Rock, but more so Cher just being like the best person ever, and so inadvertently hilarious. The night that the slap happened, Cher tweeted out in all caps, Oh, what a night, I'm so, so happy. I thought that in and of itself was hilarious, but then people in the replies started freaking out. When someone was being pretty vicious to her, she replied that she had no idea what anyone was talking about and that the tweet was about how she went and got a bottle of Dr. Pepper. Her mind. Immediately once she realized what was going on, she tweeted, quote, haters FKU. Everyone is so ready to pounce. Does anyone in their right mind think that I wouldn't have said something had I known? Me of all people? And she did it in that weird, every letter is a capitalized thing that she does. I love her so much, she's so funny. Next on the list is Jimmy Fallon. Editor, please put up the picture of Jimmy Fallon in blackface on that one SNL skit while I say what he said. Don't want anyone to think that that's been forgotten of at all. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon host quipped during his monologue the day after the awards show, quote, America may be divided, but it was kind of nice for all of us to come together and say holy crap at the same time. Of course, I have to address the big moment that everyone's talking about, and that is Questlove winning the Oscar for best documentary. Congrats Questlove on your big night. Next up is Nicole Kidman, the queen behind the viral reaction photo to the Oscar slap. Soon after the slap incident, a photo of Nicole with her jaw basically on the floor went through the internet as a reaction to the night's events. That being said, I'm definitely cheating here because her reaction wasn't actually to the moment itself. In fact, it was for a much sweeter moment that happened hours prior to Will Smith schmacking Chris Rock. The photographer who took the shock Nicole photo stated that the reaction was actually Jessica Chastain walking into the room and Kidman was excited to see her. That's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Next up is Nicki Minaj. I love her music, she's an amazing rapper, but she has been criticized for being with a man who did some really messed up stuff. I can't really go into it here, it's a lot, but you should definitely look it up because it makes her reaction a little sus. The rapper wrote on Twitter, quote, I love Chris Rock. I don't think he would have made that joke had he known what Jada recently shared. 
but between him and the whole team at the Oscars, you mean to tell me not one of y'all heard this woman just share this heartbreaking story? You just gotta witness in real time what happens in a man's soul when he looks over to the woman he loves and sees her holding back tears from a little joke at her expense. This is what any and every real man feels in that instance. While y'all all seeing the joke, he's seeing her pain. No comment. Next up is Tim Heidecker. I just think he's funny, and he's one of the original comedians behind Absurdist Humor, one of my favorite comedy styles. But this entire post that he made was totally satire, just in case you didn't know. Anyway, on his Instagram a few hours ago at the time of writing this, he posted this extremely deep, sad looking photo of himself, and the caption is, quote, my heart breaks for comedy itself. We cannot allow violence to stop us from speaking the truth. Comedy is a sacred art from back in the Bible days. Even Adam and Eve had comedy in their lives. No comic should fear for their lives just for being honest about hair or how bad someone smells. That said, offensive jokes should be met with worldwide condemnation from all, and we must all take responsibility for our actions even if that means being physically attacked. I am one of the most offensive comedians of all time, but I must say, no more bullshit. And honestly, I love him. It just kind of highlights the absolute ridiculousness of this whole thing. Jim Carrey is next up, who stated on CBS that he felt, quote, sickened by the standing ovation. Hollywood is just spineless en masse, and it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that we're not the cool club anymore. You do not have the right to walk up on a stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. Jim Carrey is a little unhinged lately, but I kind of agree with him on this point, and it seems like more and more he's so thoroughly thoroughly done with everything to do with fame and Hollywood. Now I want to spend some time talking about the actual people involved in the incident. So next up, we're going to talk about Jada Pinkett Smith, the subject of Chris Rock's tasteless joke. Since the part one of this video, she has broken her silence about what went down. And might I just frame this narrative for a second and remind everyone that when the joke was initially told, Will Smith was laughing at it. It wasn't until he saw how furious Jada herself looked that he stood up and hit Chris. So really, if she hadn't reacted that way, I doubt that Will would have done anything. Anyway, she's been pretty vocal about her alopecia, and on Instagram she posted the quote, This is the season for healing and I'm here for it. Of course, this comes after Will accepted his award for his role in King Richard, and in the speech, Will spoke about how he wants to be like Richard, who was quote, a fierce defender of his family. So I guess that Instagram post on Jada's part was her approval of Will's reactions. Next up, we've got the man himself, Will Smith. He only just recently broke his silence about the incident. Again, during his acceptance speech, he went off about how he will protect his family no matter what, yada yada yada. He then later apologized to the Academy and to the other nominees for his actions, but it wasn't until a few days ago that he finally apologized to Chris Rock. In a post made on Instagram, Will states, quote, violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. I say we take it to the ring and let him juke it out. And now we finally got Chris Rock's reaction to the whole debacle. His reaction has been, well, nothing. Outside of indicating that he would not file charges against Will Smith, he's been absolutely silent. Not a peep. Now, at the time of recording this video, which is Wednesday the 30th, he has a live show tonight, and I am like absolutely certain that that's when he's going to bring it up. I mean, how could you not? The show is obviously sold out, and my prediction is that he will make extremely lighthearted jokes about it before forgiving the apology. That's my prediction, all right? It's locked in. I don't think Chris is the type of person to hold a grudge like this. I mean, he's a professional comedian, someone who is known for having to be a little edgy. If he can't take just a bit of flack, then he'll no longer come out as the semi-good guy in this situation. So I guess by the time this video airs, there will be something that Chris Rock has said, and I really can't wait to hear what it is, popcorn in hand. <laughs> 